This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2011 Chevy Silverado 1500. That would be a half ton. Uh, four door extra cab. It's an LS, which means it's cloth. It's a Z71 uh, 4x4. I think I already said 4x4. And yeah, it's on a clear title. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company. Uh, when we bought it, it had a pretty good sized dent in the passenger fender and moderate ding dent, like a long dent on the passenger bedside. So we had those fixed. Um, paid $900 to have that done. Uh, we were going to fix the fender. We decided it would be better to replace the fender. Anyway, there will be before and after pictures so you can see it. Uh, we just got off the phone with Watson Chevrolet. The in-service date for the uh, warranty uh, was 12-15 of 2011. So you've got uh, three year 36 bumper to bumper. So you're going to go through uh, with the 12-15 uh, of 2014 um, bumper to bumper. And uh, you've got another 22,000 miles, 20, no, 24,000 miles to go on the, on the mileage end of it. After that, it's a uh, five year 60,000 mile powertrain. So you've got lots of warranty left. We do know that the tire monitor on the passenger rear tire needs to be fixed it's going to Watson for that and we're waiting for a mirror glass for the driver uh, side power mirror uh, there are still a couple things on it I'll show you that we didn't want to fix we didn't want to turn this thing into like a huge project and whatever uh, we just took care of the big stuff is what we did cosmetically tires um, look like probably Thirty percent tread. There's a little bit of a ding right here. A couple little scratches here. I think I saw a little tiny. If you took some touch-up paint and spent, you know, half an hour, this thing would look a million times better. It's best for us not to do a whole lot. It's already been touched up here and here. Uh, it's not. It's not a good idea for us to walk around and touch things up. It's best for us to uh, do real repairs and and not anything funky so that you can see the before and after part of it. Like I said, this fender is brand new. Went to a really good painter. That said, it's not, obviously it's not factory paint, but it's not Mako either. It's a very, it's a color with a, with a uh, clear coat. I believe that the, it had a really long dent, but not deep, along the top of the bed, like it got too close to something. These uh, four-door extra caps are very popular, which is why I bought this thing. People really want these things. I'm trying to give you an idea of the finish here. A couple little floaties in there. Actually, this is actually for the for for nine hundred dollars. They did a hell of a job, um, a really good job for nine hundred bucks. If you paid uh, two thousand dollars, you'd have perfect. Nine hundred got us probably a ninety-two percent perfect. Tailgate looks great. You got a brand new spare. Obviously, you have warranty, so. Looks like somebody dropped put a battery in the back of this thing. See right here? And spilled battery acid right there. Um, but obviously, if you were to do what you should do with any truck and put a bed liner in, it wouldn't matter. But uh, that's what it appeared to us. right here on top of the bed rail. We were going to get a bed rail cap and put it over there, but it would probably only cover to about right here. You'd see that um, if you get those, you know, chrome bed rail caps or black diamond plated ones. Uh, what else? See the ding right here and a little ding there. Looks like a little bit of a push in down here. Kind of hard to see. 
probably shows better in HD than it does with my eye though. Other than that, that's about it. I'm gonna fire this thing up. See this? This is all getting replaced. We just couldn't get it in the mail fast enough. But this is all getting fixed. Good. That'll be a non-issue. Kind of unusual to have uh, child locks were on. The rear door windows are power, which is unusual in an extra cab. your rear door. Nothing going on there. This is the passenger front door. There are your power windows. Power, power door locks. And looks like it's got a little bit of a, something there. They don't feel it, so it's definitely a stain of some sort. Seats. Carpet looks good. Let's see if we got it in here. Look at truck. All right. Driver window. Passenger window. Window and driver rear window. All that works. Like I said, we're replacing this mirror, but you can see it work right now. Not that it matters, it's going to be replaced, but uh, let's try the other side. Out. And, uh, let's see. Oh, you can't do that. Keys the ignition, you can't lock the doors. So. Up, down, that works fine. See a little bit of a stain here. Just a little bit. That tilt wheel up and down, that works. All right, there's your center console. There's a little tiny thing there and there. It's my job to like not miss anything. <laughs> Say that it makes me cringe because I know I'll miss something. Um, as you can see, it says right rear tire low. That's the one with the tire monitor is broken. We're taking it into uh, Watson on Monday. We were going to take it in today. It's Friday, but uh, they're just buried, and we wouldn't see it till Monday anyway. So I'd rather have it on our property than theirs. All right, let's see. What do we need to do here? We need to get some miles. There it is. 11,308 miles. And just so you know, with your naked eye, it doesn't flicker like that. I could look through my camera and I could see it flickering. Um, that's some sort of a camera issue that they do sometimes. Let's see. Let's see. Those controls work on the steering. Got tow haul on and off there. They put it in neutral. Let me put it into four-wheel low. Now we're four-low. 
you put it in the drive. And when you put it in the four low, that's what makes it. Stability track goes off when you're in four low, just so you know. That's why that light comes on. Now we're in reverse. And now we're in neutral. Go back to four high. Now we're in four high. Drive. And reverse. Perfect. All right. And let's see. Let's go back to two-wheel drive. Now we're two-wheel drive. We can take a ride. The air's blowing ice cold. Uh, let's see. Make sure all the All right, if you come to Tucson to drive at home, uh, you're going to pay taxes and you're going to pay dock fees. Dock fee is $250. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If you're lucky enough to be from Alaska, they have 0%. So all you're going to pay is 2% tax and a $250 dock fee. If you uh, live in Arizona, uh, our, our state tax rate is 6.1. So you're going to pay a total of 8.1% taxes and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is a agreed upon price and that's it. Um, no dock, no taxes, you can deal with that issue in your state when the truck gets there. Um, please make sure uh, if we have an agreed upon deal that you get your uh, price, that you get your uh, deposit. Once we have a deposit, we'll put your name, uh, jump on it here for you. no noise or rattles or anything. Nice truck. Um, anyhow, please make sure you get your deposit. Once your deposit's in, we'll put your name uh, on a banner over the vehicle on our website at wheelk.com. It'll thank you for your deposit, for your business, and you'll know that it's yours and no one else can have it. Until we have the deposit, it's for sale regardless of anything else. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, eBay people, please read the ad. Please watch the video. It's not a brand new truck. Um, everything we know about it is in the ad, um, including warranty information, uh, anything that we know about it. That being said, we've owned it for 25 miles. Um, and it's got 11,300 miles on it. So we don't know the car like it's our personal car. So please. Uh, Please read the ad. Uh, realize you're saving a ton of money when you buy this truck from us over what you'd pay for somebody else. And factor that into your thinking, okay? Uh, but, but, but what else? I think that's it. This is a really nice truck. Uh, I would have zero uh, qualms about taking it and driving it to Maine from Tucson right now. Um, it may need some tires here in the next couple thousand miles. Other than that, we're going to handle the, uh, the uh, tire monitor light, and we're going to handle this broken mirror glass and that piece here. Um, and it's under full warranty, so I don't think there's a whole lot to worry about. Thanks very much for your time. Uh, have a safe week, uh, weekend, and a next week. And that's it. Thanks.